Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, man. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are back with Bleach. We got the Thousand Year Blood War Part Two. I don't know what episode this is. I think it's nine. She. And we just watched it and talk about an ending. I mean, the whole episode was good, but that ending, like, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. Hey, man, we say it all the time. What a time to be an anime fan, but, man, what a time to be a Bleach fan. Like, wow, like he said, the ending. Like, I really don't know what to say there, but just to work our way to there, Bleach just came once again with a great episode. I'm not going to lie. How do you say that captain's name again? Miami, the Goldie, if you will. I, I don't I don't know. I've never known how to say his name. That shit is a tongue twister like shit, but hey, man. He, he wowed me a bit, I will say. I didn't expect him to have those kind of cards up his hands. Like, he is quite literally the Orochimaru of Bleach. It's crazy. Yeah, and literally the only difference is Orochimaru can still jump in the paint and box. Whereas this yeah. nigga, he's not about to just throw hands with you. But yeah. when it comes to being prepared and having shit like this up your sleeve, like... He's definitely mm -hmm. the Rojimaru of Bleach, and for sure. respectfully, he's still not a bitch. Just because he's still a, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But. It's man. just given who the opponent is, he's not jumping in the paint. But. At least not against that captain, though. Like. Ooh. That was like, I ain't gonna lie, I fuck with that fighting style. And, like, I'm trying to think who that reminds me of, aside from Rojimaru. Like. Just having shit handy. It's like kind of like Usopp. Like, just having shit. Just like, I'm all right, I'm going to throw this at this nigga. Like, exploding star. <laughs> I ain't going to hold you like. I get it. That shit was funny, though. Like, when he whipped out the zombies, he said, oh, no, I couldn't just help fighting my own people. Nigga whipped out these niggas. And I'm not going to lie. I actually really fuck with how they have their own personality. Like. Quite literally, the they, it's like they basically have their soul back, bro. Like, if they weren't for the fact that they said it themselves, they're dead. You would think they're alive. Yeah, and they're showing out. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's fodder they're fighting aside from Bambi, who yeah. I knew she was. There was something wrong with her. I assumed she was probably dead, but I didn't think. Not only was she dead, but she was turned into a zombie. Yeah. By the other bitch. Like, it makes sense now because I remember when all, all those other girls crowded around Bambi after she lost. She was like, please, anything but that. Don't do this. Now we see what that was. Like, she said she squeezed the life out of her. Yeah. And it's like, those words, those words. That's the damning thing because you two guys are zombies. Does that mean what little bit of... Because we never actually saw someone come to Hitsugaya's aid. We just saw the shadow. We assumed it was one of our allies. Does that mean he got what little life squeezed out of him left? To be no. And the reason I say that is because she said it's different for Soul Reapers. Like she said, for Quincy's, she can't do it unless they're dead first. So she had to squeeze the life out of her. True. But for Soul Reapers, it's easier. I just got splashed some blood. Now, the thing that's kind of tricky is Ikaku had blood on him. And he didn't... Now, maybe... I don't know if it just wasn't hers, because they didn't cut her. Yeah, and maybe the, the state was. he was in, maybe. Yeah, I, I would just assume because, like, they never actually cut Zombie Bitch. So, that but couldn't have been her blood. Her? Huh? Huh? But he too guy. I don't think he ever cut her either. He didn't cut her either, but like the way she bit her finger and shit, like yeah. Okay, okay, I see what you mean. I see what you yeah. mean. Yeah, like a he type shit. Yeah, like that didn't happen in their fight until like the very end when the other captain pulled up. So I I doubt that was actually her blood. Yeah, so okay, that's why so, they're straight. If anything, he too guy's life is still on okay for the most part. If they can reverse this zombie shit, then I think he's going to be straight. If anything, he pulled up on the right captain, I would say that. Yeah. Like, he pulled up on the right nigga to get him right. Oof. 
hopefully he goes there well. But the other nigga who needs to get right is that nigga Ishida. We see him on his way. Yeah. Mm. And Ichigo, like, we already know Ichigo solid. One of the realest niggas in anime. So oh, yeah, I, I expected no less from him when it comes to talking about Ishida after seeing what just happened. But if that was me, and I'm Ichigo in that situation, it's fuck that nigga. I'm going to chase after yeah. him, and I'm going to drag him back here so that everyone in the Soul Society can take turns giving that nigga body blows. Yeah, like, if I'm Ichigo, it's fuck that nigga, but as an audience, ah, it just hurts. But I can't say I have really any real attachments to Ishida. I always just thought he was kind of cool. Team Ichigo doesn't strike me the same way Team Yusuke does. But Chad's the only nigga I just always kind of just thought was an L. So it's like, it's tough. For me, it's like... Ishida doesn't get a pass. But Dora, this shit is immaculate. Like... No cap. I can't, no cap. I can't necessarily say I hate him, but at the same time, I already know who the fuck I am screaming for when they start fighting. Yeah, like, and I really hope, like, and that's that's kind of what the annoying part about it, because I know Ichigo's gonna hold back. So yeah. even though he could definitely get on that nigga's ass and get him gone, like, he's not going to. And it's going to piss me Earth, off. Maybe that's why Orihime is there, too. We were saying if anyone could get through to him, it's probably Orihime. Like, aside from just being the Hall of Fame healer, if anything, that's two big plays in one. Because I was kind of thinking, like, damn, Kisuke is only sending Ichigo on Orihime, not even Chad. I mean, Chad's ass. I don't know what he has for them, let alone it's not like the Royal Palace needs that much help when you look at the numbers. But... I did think it was kind of interesting he just chose to bring Orihime of all people. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense to me, like, off-rip just because, like, of the healing aspect. Like, I feel like, yeah. aside from your watch, I mean, Haswalt can probably bang, but I got Ichigo. And yeah. we already know with Ishida. So, as long as that nigga can get back to at least close to 100% before that Yawatch fight, you know what I'm saying? That's the best case scenario. That's kind of what was going through my head. I didn't even and think about Orihime being able to get through to Ishida. Like, that's 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 big brain like shit, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, and it's like, I think that's low-key a better thing, too, that it's just those two. Because aside from just now all the great spoke and just setup that we're seeing now with the Serate going on, when you look at the Royal Palace and what's going on there, it's like, it's really not that much smoke. I mean, as you said, Haswell, he's probably not fighting anyone outside of the Royal Palace niggas. I mean, there's only three niggas going there. Ashida, Haswell, and your watch. So it's like, I'm assuming Ichigo's not fighting Haswell just by default. I'm going to assume he may encounter Ishida, but I'm going to assume like, yeah, I'm assuming those are the two by default. So I'm going to assume Oswald's probably fighting one of the Royal Palace niggas. We may fuck around and see Ishida beat one of the other Royal Palace niggas. Maybe. Maybe, just to build that hype. Because, like, yeah. your watch is not losing to any of the five, obviously. But who is he really going to just walk through them niggas by himself? Or are they going to let him, like, I don't, I don't see him just... All right, stand back. I got this. And just, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like, I'm not about to just downplay your watch. But at the same time, it's like, him being able to solo five, even if you take away, like, two of them, him being able to just spank three of them, which I'm sure he could probably win, him being able to spank three of them is outrageous, given how strong they're supposed to be. Yeah, and, like, I could see him spanking three, but my see, thing is like, I don't like see him. I don't see him being able to spank three and then fight Ichigo or fight yeah. the Soul King. Like fuck no. Yeah, or he's not beating the three. He all three of them are not dead before Ichigo gets there. Facts. Like if it's three on one, Ichigo's getting there in time. That's the one thing I will say. Yeah, it's three on one hundred percent, 
hundred percent. There's mm. no, there's no doubt you get in there. Literally. So I'm, it was like, this I'm is curious, be really like, because I know the Squad Zero knows your watch is on the way. Like, you, there's no way you just don't notice that. Mm-hmm. So it's like, did they actually game plan for this shit, or are they just gonna just stay in their little sections and box when they pull up? Yeah, and since we said it himself, why aren't they shooting them down? I'm certain he was talking about the Royal Palace niggas. He said, what are they planning? Like, even he had the same questions. Like, that means they probably have the power to dead ass like, snipe them niggas down, which I don't doubt it either. Yeah. But at right. least challenge them. Maybe not snipe down your watch, but at least just not let the nigga come to their front door. They're either just really fucking like cocky. That. Like, they must be really fucking cocky, because I doubt they're just going to let them walk around. They probably are, because I remember Isaac tried to do the same shit. Yeah. And you saw how they were talking once the whole first Thousand Year Blood War was over. Mm Mm-hmm. But, hey, man, all in all, this was a fire-ass episode. The Thousand Year Blood War has been coming with it, and this episode was no short of great. If I had to rate it, I'd probably say, like, a 9.8. Hmm. If I had to rate this episode, okay. Originally, if it wasn't for how that episode ended with Hitsu Gaia, I probably would have gave it, like, a 9.4, 9.5. But that ending, like, I'm I'm right there with you. I'll give it, like, a 9.8. Like, a 9.8 yeah, yeah, yeah. is, like, perfect. Like, that, I ain't gonna lie. It's been a while since Bleach has just caught me off guard like that. It has, bro. And it's like, oh, man. Like, it doesn't hit the same as when Biakia got his shit. Like, just damn. But at the same time, it's just like, he's a guy that can't catch a fucking break. I mean, everyone was on Ray <laughs> these days for being the Vegeta of this show. But damn, this nigga just got turned into a zombie. Like... <laughs> That's more down bad than the dog captain has ever been. Bro, that's funny as shit. Oh, my God. Like, that's crazy, dog. <laughs> he said that nigga can't catch a break. It's just crazy. <laughs> oh, man. Like, I'm Team Hitsugaya, bro, because he's drippy, and I Hell fuck yeah. with him as a character and everything, but God damn, my nigga, like... Bro, like... He allergic to W's at this point. It's, it's getting crazy out here. I don't think he's caught one. Like, I, I can't name one. I'm going to be honest. But, hey, man, if you enjoyed this Bleach reaction, hit that like button. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you hit that big red subscribe button at the bottom of your screen. And turn on that post notification bell. Make sure it's on all notifications so you don't miss another post like this one. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. More reviews coming soon. You feel me? Uh, make sure you guys click on the description. Two links waiting for you. One will take. Uh, they will take you. One will take you to all of our socials. Damn, I'm stuttering like shit. I'm tired as fuck. One will take you to all of our socials. Sons of Tokyo on every single platform. The other one will take you to our Discord. Make sure you guys join that. Come chop it up with us. Talk about anime with us. Come talk about anything you want with us. Football season coming up. You know what I'm saying? Let me know who asked. I need a spanking Madden. You know what I'm saying? Anything. But hey, man. With that being said, that's OTO.